What's going on everyone? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing weekend. So I'm on three full days with the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and I figured I'd make a quick video just showing some of the new features that I found on it as well as a couple more comparisons to last year's model and a couple tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this machine. The first thing is Vision Booster. Samsung is touting this as providing us with extra outdoor visibility. I've tested this out and it is legit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bump our brightness all the way up to max brightness real quick so we can see this in action. And then we want to go into Samsung settings. So you're going to press function F1. Wait for that to load up real quick. And then on the left side, you're going to pick display. All right, we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. I love having touch screens. So there's our vision booster. So by default, when you get this shipped to you, this is going to be turned on. And you see here, we turn it off. We turn it on. It doesn't really do anything. Well, the reason it's not doing anything is because my YouTube studio lights are off to the side. No problem. We're going to fix that right now. So let's go ahead and blast some light up on the proximity sensor. And I want you to see this vision booster in action. Here we go. Bam! Look at that. Holy moly. Let's remove the light real quick. Look at it go back down. Let's go ahead and bump that back up. Wow, what a difference. I'm going to do it one more time because the difference is staggering. All right, vision booster on. Again, max brightness. I'm showing that to you real quick. We're maxed out. Here we go. Bam! Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Another new feature this year that we haven't seen in years past is a new performance slider for the integrated Intel Arc graphics. We didn't see this with the Intel Iris Xe graphics. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Open up your start menu. Gonna start typing Intel Graphics. There it is, Intel Graphics Command Center. Go ahead and tap on that. Let that load up for just a second here. So over here on the left, we're gonna have this fourth option down. Go ahead and tap on that. And then you wanna go over to this power section. And here it is, a new power efficiency slider. We have not had this in years past. This lets us adjust the graphics quality from our integrated Intel Arch graphics. And if we bring last year's model into the equation, you can see it does not have the slider section. And we do have the new option here on this year's Book 4 Pro 360. So that's awesome. Also improved this year is the reflection handling. So I've got my YouTube lights off, but my overhead light on. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like with last year's model. So you can get an idea of here what this looks like. And then we're going to go to this year's. And I'm literally like getting down on my knees and just freehanding this so we can get some different angles going on here. Now let's shine the flashlight from my S24 Ultra on last year's. All right, so you get an idea of what that looks like. Here's what it looks like on this year's model. It's a little bit more diffused, makes reading the text a little bit easier. But one area I don't notice much of a difference is in like the windows reflections. So here's the windows in my office reflecting on both machines. And I'll go at the side here. And as you can see, I think they look about as intense on both machines. I don't really see a big difference there. So for lights, it's improved, but for like windows coming in, you know, like this here, uh, I don't see a big difference. Another big difference that I'm noticing in this year's machine compared to years prior is this. Just listen, listen quietly. I'm in optimized performance mode. Even just sitting here at the desktop, usually you hear some fan noise, just listen. Nothing, nothing. This machine is whisper quiet when you're just doing regular tasks. That is definitely new for this year. I've never had a Galaxy Book just sit here at idle. I, it's been sitting here for like an hour while I'm prepping for this video. The fans have never kicked on, going through different screens, testing stuff out. Not once in optimized mode. This year's model is much more quieter. Another cool thing added this year is Intel Copilot. This is basically your integrated AI assistant that's built right into your Galaxy Book 4 and you access it real easily. It's right here, right in the right corner. This is your Copilot screen. This is my back and forth activity with Copilot for the searches that I've done. Up here in the top right, we can show our search history as well as turn on personalization. We also have the ability to turn on and off different plugins. These will reach out to their respective sites online, so you have some cloud-based functionality. Uh, back here in the searches, you can basically just interact with it like you would with any other voice type assistant. So let's try it out real quick. Please open up control panel. All right, we'll go ahead and send it. It's a little slow, it's in the early stages, it's processing right now, give it just a minute. You can interact with the dialog box to confirm your choice. 
All right, cool. So we'll go ahead and pick yes here. Give it just a second. And there's control panel. Awesome. So you can open up system apps, call up anything, search within files, all that good stuff. Maybe eventually I'll be able to get that closed out. Let's try something else. Tell me everything new about the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. All right, we'll give it just a minute to process our request. Certainly. Let's explore the exciting features of the Samsung Dude. Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. Vision booster, Dynamic we just looked AMOLED at that. Dynamic 2X display. The 16-inch touchscreen display boasts a 3K resolution. So it's really accurate. This is all correct you information about, about the Book 4 Pro 360. Vision booster, multi-control. Let me turn the volume down just a little bit. So, you know, it has all the newest information about what we're looking for. So it's working with updated data models. So this is great. So it's out here on the web, just doing a full search. And if you get tired of hearing it talk, you can just turn that off right here. All right, so you have some other functionality right here where you can replay the message, right? Just give it just a minute because that's a long one. It's going to queue it up. Certainly. Let's explore the There it is. It's replaying it. Samsung we can Galaxy. go ahead and pause it. We can copy this. Uh, it'll open up different URLs if you do web searches, and that'll open it up in this other window, just like that right there. So a lot of built-in functionality. And keep in mind, this is in the early stages. So there's a lot more to come with this. Well, that took a minute to load there. But uh, nonetheless, there we are with a product page, basically an integrated AI assistant built right into your Book 4 Pro 360. Another cool thing I'm noticing on this year's Book 4 compared to last year's is improvements on the speed for the S Pen. So let me show you what I mean real quick. So when we go to open up the error commands on last year's, just keep waiting. There we go, not too bad. Now let's go ahead and do it on this year's. All right, give it just a sec. Boom. Let's try that again. Here it comes. Boom. That window pops right up. We go back to last year's. Let's open that back up. Here we go. You see how the window kind of stutters up there? Let's try it one more time. It's not a big deal, but it's a nice improvement. It kind of just gives you an idea of what to expect with the S Pen. Another area where this year's model just blows away past years is in the audio. So we covered this in the unboxing, so if you've already seen that, just go ahead and jump ahead to the next section. All right, Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, max volume. Move the mic a little closer. Now the Book 4 Pro 360, max volume. Oh wow, that's quite a bit louder. Let me go ahead and move the mic a little bit closer. Since I've already put that video out and know what it sounds like, I can tell you for sure that that video is not doing it justice. The audio in person is much improved on this year's model. Much wider, much bigger, just fuller sounding, and much more volume. Just an all around better experience. All right, those are some cool things with this year's model, but I do have to say before we wrap up this little introductory video, there's one thing that's really irking me. When I have my Galaxy Buds 2 Pro connected up, no matter what I do, I'm only getting audio out of my right earbud. And I've messed with everything, looked at all the uh, volume and balance settings. I've tried repairing and doing all that good stuff. I'm also using the Galaxy Buds app to try to fine tune it. It doesn't matter, I just can't get audio out of the left earbud. But when I have them paired up to like my S23 Ultra or last year's Galaxy Book, no problems at all. So hopefully we get an update that addresses this. It's really kind of irking me. All right, but minus that hiccup, I'm really liking this laptop a lot. I can't really attest to the processing speed or the GPU yet. I'm starting work on those videos now, so a lot more coming up on the channel. 
But here in the first three days, my initial impressions are really good, minus that one issue. I mean, it's a really nice machine. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Always appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.